what's good everybody s crab blends back again with another barber tutorial today we got my man bundy in the chair obviously he's looking kind of homeless usually he gets his hair cut with kendrick's which is i cut hair for fun on instagram however my man kendrick's had a little uh you know a little little issue when he was playing basketball and broke his foot can't even stand up so my man came in and said i need you to cut me so i said i gotta record this one i had limited time to uh do this cut so uh, it was between appointments so i wanted to record it real quick so man i'm just jumping in don't even know where i'm going he said just do whatever so i kind of did the finger over clipper on top just knocking some of that bulk down now i'm doing some clipper over comb just to knock some of that bulk out so i can see what i'm doing coming in with the clippers clothes creating a guideline as you can see guideline guideline ain't even that clean man <laughs> i'm just trying to get this on video and, and figure something out while i go so anyways i put the first guideline in then i opened up the blade all the way made my second guideline now i'm closing it halfway just tying those two together all right now i have the number one guard on there gonna go up about an inch three quarters of an inch something like that just kind of flicking and uh that number one is all the way open and then i'll go ahead and close it here in just a second try to blend those together as you can see my man's got salt and pepper hair which makes it you know challenging all by itself to blend in those dark spots or the dark hair with the light hair to make that blend look good uh, so we're gonna do the best we can man As you can see, I closed it all the way. Just trying to tie it together. Also, shout out to my man Bundy, who's in the chair. He's the one that gave me this beat right here. Amazing producer with his own studio. All right, now I'm gonna come in with the one and a half guard all the way open. I'm just kind of flicking up towards the top. Also use that one and a half guard to kind of blend the beard in a little bit. He didn't want to, obviously I still got to blend it in, but I knocked some of that link down right there by his ear. And, uh, you know, he wanted to keep that beard kind of high and barely blend the top. So that's what I did. So now I'm coming in with the blade all the way open. And I'm just using the corners, man, tapping at some of those dark spots. If I see some lines, I kind of float the clipper a little bit, just trying to you know, blend those lines together. All right, we're gonna move down to the beard area. And now I'll just go ahead with the blade open, you know, knock some of that down. As you can see, I, I look up and I see some dark spots and I'll kind of touch that with the corner of the blade. Now I'm gonna close the clipper notch by notch till we get bald and just blend that beard in. Like I said, we're just barely gonna do a little blend on the top of that beard. So that way it uh, stays nice and full. Right now I'm gonna come in behind the ear. At this point, because he came in and said, basically do what I wanna do, I was like, you know, am I gonna go ahead and just taper out the back or do I wanna leave a little bit of fringe? So I really didn't wanna mess with the bottom because I wanted to figure out what I was doing. So right now I'm just doing some clipper over comb. Um, you know, and as you can see, I go right into the bangs and I want to knock them off. And at first I was like, you know what? I might go ahead and keep a little fringe on there. Uh, just, you know, so that way I can create like a little accent piece in the front. So when we style it, we could do that. Um, but he told me that he didn't want any accent pieces. So I went ahead and cut it off and you'll see that in just a little bit. But now I'm grabbing the gold babyless shaver and just balding that out going in with the uh, gold babyless trimmers and these are the fx ones and that's part of the reason i want to record this video as well not just because of the transformation but man babyless sent me a amazing package you can watch that in my last video uh, but they sent me the clippers the trimmers the the shavers and some other clippers and trimmers it was awesome so i wanted to go ahead and uh put these things to work unfortunately i did not set them i just took them out the box and then jumped right in so i do uh leave some red marks but you know either way he got a decent cut so 
as you can see, I went over the eyebrows with a number one open. Some people use a one and a half guard, but I feel like the teeth are so wide that if you're not careful and you go over that eyebrow, you can actually, you know, kind of go a little bit closer than you want. So I do the one and a half open on both eyebrows. Now I'm just shaping them up. You know, I just want to knock off that that dark hair, that little fuzz that was around his eyebrows. We're going to clean it up, keep them with some, you know, manly eyebrows. Uh, we're just shaping those up. There again, we don't want to give them no feminine eyebrow. We're just kind of, you know, knocking the fuzz off around, giving them some shape there. So cleaning those up. And as you'll see in just a moment, man, just cleaning up his eyebrows, it makes his eyes pop. And then cleaning up his face, man, it just exposes more of that skin and it really gives you a, a clean looking uh, cut. There again, as you can see, I have that little uh, accent piece hanging down in the front. I was going to work on that, you know, kind of make it a little chunky and, and, you know, cut it up a little bit, give it some texture. But, you know, he didn't want it. So I went ahead and knocked it off a little bit later. Went down with the one and a half or the one guard open on the mustache as well. Usually that's what I do. I feel like if you go with the grain on the mustache and, uh, you know, with a one open, it still gives it a nice full look, but it's still short and clean. And as you can see, I like to kind of move from one side of the face to the next. So now I'm going to go ahead and work on that other eyebrow and then we'll work on this side of the beard as well. Now I tell you what, I wish I had a beard like that, man. That joker goes all the way up to his eyeball. <laughs> That's what I want, man. I would like my beard to go up as high as possible. Uh, I don't know if you feel the same way. Leave a comment, man, in the, you know below if, if you would like to have a beard go all the way up like that. Some people are like, I hate having a beard. I got to shave all the time. Whenever you love having a beard, man, you want that joker to go up as high as possible so you could do whatever you want to with it, you know? All right, so now I'm going to use my pick to go ahead and pick that hair out. And I want to make sure I get in there real good to pull out all the hairs up under his neck as well. So when I come in and start freehanding like I'm, I am right now, you know, we make sure we get all those hairs that were tucked away in there as well. Just giving a little shape to that beard. There again, because I was on a schedule, um, usually I would spray some hairspray in the beard, comb it out real good, hit it with a blow dryer, make sure all those hairs are nice and straight, and then I would come in and shape it real clean. Uh, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I tell you what, these clippers, trimmers, and shavers, man, I like them. Now I got my uh, UV shaver that I love to use over the mustache and on the cheeks. Now in the back, like I said, I didn't know if I was going to leave accents, but then he said he would like to have a little something simple, a little design, so I decided to throw a couple lines in there, wrap it around the back, and then I'll just go ahead and knock off you know, I'm going to taper the bottom and then I'm going to knock off that, uh, that hair where I was thinking about doing like an accent piece with. And, uh, there again, man, I really didn't have a clue what I was going to do. I was just going, man. I knew that I had limited time. I wanted to record this video for you guys. And, uh, yeah, I didn't even have a plan. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to go ahead and knock off some of that hair. And as you can see, just like I did with the side, I come in with the blade closed and then I open it up. Now I close it halfway and I'm just blending those two sections together. Then I'll grab my number one guard fully open and just flick into that, blending that together. As you can see, his skin is kind of red, man. I, like I said, I didn't even, you know, I just pulled these things straight out the box and went to work. I wanted to try them out. And, uh, 
you know, they were a little bit tighter. The clippers, the trimmers, everything was a little tighter than maybe I should have used them at the moment. Um, usually I like my stuff to be zero gapped big time. So uh, I think they were pretty gapped already and I just assumed that they weren't coming out of the box. So I think I was putting a little bit more pressure than I normally would, uh, trying to get those lines clean. And, uh, and then he has sensitive skin, so just made it a little bit red. But I think I caught him with the corner of my uh, clipper blade on the neck right there. You see that red dot? So unfortunately, it is what it is. He said he didn't feel it, which is a good thing. But uh, anytime I see redness, man, it really bothers me. So I apologize about that. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and uh, clean this side up now, that little back line, go around the ear, get that nice and clean. And uh, the little ledge that you see from the top going into the sides, I'll come in with some thinning shears a little bit later. I don't think I recorded that part, but I'll, I'll just kind of blend that in a little bit so it's not as chunky or weighty. So of course, I'm using our Tomb 45 indestructible clay that you can get on Amazon. Mess, doing that messy look on top with the short bangs, which I like. And now I'm just coming in, you know, cleaning up the beard. Then I'll do some detail work. Um, right now I'm using my Mitsutani, I think they're called, uh, thinning shears. Just kind of, you know, cleaning that up a little bit. Touch those back lines up a little bit. Make sure everything looks sharp and clean. Hey, this was the before. Now you're going to see the after. Hey, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about this transformation. Until next time, God bless you guys. Peace. I'm out of here.